have today. Our topic will be um, using our LA oscillators, stochastic and spring moving average to identify short term option trades to be presented by Mrs. Vadim Nadi, who doesn't need any introduction at this point because he's been in Atma for a time to get more than any other member probably. So, about Mr. Nandi, he has graduated in economics with postgrad in business management, has more than 12 years of experience as a trader and analyst. He has been the head research uh, and the director of algorithmic strategies for one of the biggest commodities proprietary firms in India. Now he manages his own and proprietary money based upon self-developed algorithmic strategies. We are honored to have you here and eager to begin the, uh, begin the seminar. Majority of you know me, so let's cut the introduction sharp. Now my topic for today, what I have written here is Elliot Waves the Factor Nature. Now in any seminar, if there is a topic like Elliot Waves or GAN, I am probably the first person who goes to sleep. Because uh, I am not classically a believer in Elliot Waves or GAN techniques. Uh, personally, I believe that unless any technique can be back tested extensively, and some statistical age can be taken out of it, uh, it is impossible to trade that particular system. I have personally never traded any of these in my entire life. Uh, I trade very simple systems. But the reason why I am saying this is, uh, in the next, we have a two hour session, so I will be speaking about Elliot Wills probably the first 10 minutes just to give you an idea that uh, the only probably 5% of the Elliot Wills which I have taken, then I have made it into a model so that it can be traded in the Indian options market. But uh, the model can be explained in 15 minutes. I will give you three indicators and make the model. But why I am taking such a model? Why those indicators? Why? How does it all come together? Elliot waves, in a way, will kind of explain it. Now, the first I said I don't believe in Elliot waves, but Elliot waves does have a very hypnotic quality. That five particular waves are going up and down, and probably the only technical analysis method which gives you a resemblance of a target. So that's pretty interesting from an Elliot point of view. So at one point of our life in technical analysis, all of us put our head to Elliot waves for at least some time. In my case, it was probably around one and a half to two years, after which I uh, got the idea that it is not possible to trade it profitably on a day to day basis. And those kind of very long term forecasts, where the market will go for here after one and a half years, with a 500 point stop loss on a Nifty is simply not my cup of tea. I am an extremely short term trader. I mean, the majority trade they can run in a terms of view is probably 15 days. I can't see more than that. The trades which you are going to see today are basically uh, say around 3 to 4 to maximum 7 to 8 day trades, not more than that. More than that, options actually does not make any sense. So, let's start. Uh, if you go to Elliott Waves, you don't have to see this actually. Now, you have a grand super cycle of some numbers, you have a super cycle, I don't know this actually, I just copied it from the net. Now, then you have a cycle primary intermediate and these kind of things are there. So, when you are trying to do Elliott waves, the first thing you try to remember, you try to learn by root is something like this. The reason is, interesting thing is, which you will see, any cycle is repeated on a higher time frame. That's what Elliott wave claims. The basic cycle as you know is something like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3 and 5 are impulse waves, that is in the direction of the trend. 2 and 4 are basically corrective waves. A basic 3 wave correction is something like this. That is, when the market is going up, these corrections will be in 3 waves and these particular impulses will be in 5 waves. These are absolute basic Elliott wave techniques. Uh, 1, 3 and 5 are impulse waves, uh, 2, 4 and B are uh, corrective waves. A complete 8 wave cycle is something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then you have ABC, then you have another wave count of another 5 waves. Now, this is where things become interesting for us. Elliott wave is factor. This means that wave structure from the grand super cycle is the same as for the minuet. Minuet means in minutes. That is, whenever you are trying to see a pattern for the next few years, that pattern gets repeated on a minute basis also. That's what Elliot Wave claims. I'm not asking you to either believe it or disbelieve it at this point of time. No matter how big or small the wave may be, impulse waves take on a 5 wave sequence and collective waves take on a 3 wave sequence. Any impulse wave subdivides into 5 smaller waves, any collective wave subdivides into 3 smaller waves. The charts below show the fractal nature of Elliot Wave in action. 
let me just use this. In very simple terms, what is written out there is, let us say this is the major wave, this being 1, this being 2, this being 3, this being 4, this being 5. Elliot wave claims any impulse wave, that is 1, it will subdivide into 5, this 3 will again subdivide into 5 and this 5 will again subdivide into 5 waves. Clear? So, when you are trying to study Elliot waves, the major problem of contention between any two Elliot wave analysts, if you get 10 Elliot wave analysts, you will get 10 different views, which wave we are in and which degree we are in. That is, we are in a grand super cycle, we are in a cycle, we are in a minute, we are in a minuet. Now, this is my logic that when this particular structure is going on, it is almost impossible to predict, almost with, because I can't, maybe somebody can. Impossible to predict where we are. On hindsight, when the structure has been completed for analysis, it is very easy to predict which wave and how it played out. But when the particular movement is going on, it is damn difficult to predict. And by difficult, if this was an academic discussion, I would have tried to make a prediction. But since you and I probably trade with our own money, so if we are wrong, we lose quite some money from our own pockets. So we cannot take that risk. The best risk reward ratios are enter wave 3 in the direction of the trend, stay out of market during 4, enter wave 5. This is not my lines. These lines were given by Perry Kaufman. He wrote a book 1998 trading system and methods. He also studied Elliott wave probably in a much bigger way than I did. These were the only three points you can come up with which are actually tradable, which actually puts the risk reward ratio to your benefit. Accuracy is not the key. The problem with trading Elliott concepts by mechanical system is that the designer must reduce the highly subjective aspect of the theory into quantifiable specific components. The goal is to find these areas of the theory that work best and design the system around it. I believe that the key is not trying to teach the machine to count Elliot waves because like Robert Vector, Elliot wave is always some human intervention is needed. Uh, the need for human involvement is due to the fact that Elliot wave has been traditionally used for longer term focus. But traders are much more... There is a difference between today's count and true count. The key to trading Elliot lies not getting hung up in the correct wave. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's come here. For example, if the complete Elliot wave below, the trader mistook the bottom of wave 2, that is here, as the bottom of wave 4. Let us say I made a mistake. At this position, I thought this was this. Here, you catch wave 3 instead of wave 5 and still make a good profit because both waves 3 and